Hello, everyone. Um, today, I'm blessed to have uh, Matthew Gates uh, on the interview. So Matthew uh, owns a company called Zentinel and he's doing uh, IPM consulting in San Diego area in California. So uh, hello, Matthew. How are you doing today? I'm doing pretty good. It's actually raining here in San Diego currently. Oh, we have, we have a good weather in, here in, in, uh, in Ontario today. We are, it's not too warm, but uh, it's, it's sunny. Then so, personally, I quite I quite like the rain, but uh, anyways, carry on. Um, so uh, Matthew, maybe not everybody knows about you. So can you give us a little bit about your background, and then we'll get in the interview just after that. Sure. So I've been in the sort of agricultural space for about ten years now. Um, I've worked in many different crops. I've worked in floriculture, like Gerbera cut flowers, roses avocados, tomatoes, but also most recently and um, uh, much more frequently, the cannabis cultivation. And um, I'm an IPM specialist, integrated pest management specialist. So I work with the mitigation of pests, both preventatively and curatively. Okay, that's, that's a, a good introduction. So uh, today our topic is uh, what are the IPM challenges during this confinement period? So uh, I think maybe uh, one of the, of the major issues that you may be facing is that you're not able to visit your customers as much as, as you would be. And also, what is your experience? Like uh, how, what is the feeling of your customers? What is your feeling? Yeah, can you talk a little about it? So personally, I actually do some remote work as well. So in, in that regard, working with people remotely through telephone or email, um, I've always been, uh, I've always focused on that quite a bit, but, but it's always important to do site evaluations uh, in person because people can't convey the range of information that an observation can. And they might not even think to, that's the reason why they might be asking for help in the first place. In those cases, basically that's ground to a halt. Um, people are very concerned in the agricultural space, especially California. It's a huge uh, agricultural zone for the whole international world. Okay, so yeah, like you're, you're trying to find solution to make it work and, and just uh, go over this period and, and, and finally get back to normal situation where you can provide the, the really good uh, and accurate uh, consulting, right? Exactly. And once, you know, once a, once a primary site evaluation has happened, it's not like somebody has to come in all the time afterwards and remote work can be done after the fact. Um, so it's really just uh, biosecurity, but on a larger scale. Okay. Uh, another point that um, makes sense uh, to talk about uh, is um, about the biocontrol deliveries. Like, mm -hmm. uh, what what is the situation right now at the growers' uh, plants? Like, do they get all what they order? Are they missing biocontrol to uh, to run a, a good program, or what is uh, what's what's happening? It's a good question. Um, so international movement between nations has obviously reduced quite a bit, and that's definitely impacted some of the most important biocontrol companies um, that haven't sort of international um, uh, access. Um, I do know some, some, some companies have um, more local, especially United States areas, where um, they do produce in sectories more locally. That's been very um, uh, helpful, but even in the United States of America, um, the typical day range for certain companies has like increased at least one day. So you'll you where you would normally be expecting them on like maybe a Wednesday or a Thursday, yeah, you, know, you might not see them until a Friday or something like this. And uh, and some uh, are, is there some companies that are missing? Um biocontrol insects to uh, to run a good program or are, are they managing to to get it uh, under control uh, right now or in my personal experience i haven't had that problem quite yet but 
I think that um, insectaries tend to deal with that problem even before this whole thing happened. Um, a lot of insectaries are often um, short on culture. Um, so this situation will probably exacerbate that situation in the future. Yeah, so I hope that uh, we'll get back to normal as soon as possible to uh, to to allow you to visit your customers and uh, and also to uh, make sure that we get enough beneficials to uh, to to do uh, a right like a correct uh, control of the pests in the greenhouses. So um, uh, Matthew, uh, if some uh, some growers want to talk with you about uh, um, pest management or about the crisis uh, we are we are living right now, like what would be the best way to contact you? Yeah, so there's three main ways that I talk to people online. First one is email, and I have a an email address that people can can go to. They can also find that on my website zenthanol.com. They can also find my a lot of the free pest control information that I have, IPM research and that sort of a thing, on my YouTube channel, which is also called Zenthanol, which you can see right here, not there, but here, mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, with the same logo. And you can also find me on Instagram. Uh, at Sync Angel, S Y N C H A N G E L. I also share a lot of my content on that platform as well. Yeah, so I will, I will, um, I will collect all those information and write them at the end of the interview so that people can reach you. I appreciate that. Thanks a lot, Sebastian. Thank, thank you very much, Matthew, for for your time, and uh, hope we'll be able to to meet soon to to talk more about all that. Yeah, I look forward to it. Thank you very much, Matthew. Goodbye.